got to sleep. I don't get it. What was that thing about xylophone, mylophone thing? Oh, Mr. Wood doesn't quiz us on it tomorrow. Hopefully, this sleep will help me. The xylophone isn't just one instrument, it's a general term for many instruments, such as the marimba, developed in the 1890s. Sebastian developed the first key layout on the marimba. The vibraphone, developed in 1927. Henry Schluter was the first to develop the vibraphone. The balafon was founded originally in Africa in the 12th century. The balafon is also one of the oldest versions of the xylophone, but not commonly used anymore. The only difference between these two instruments are the keys. Keys in the vibraphone are made out of alloyed metals, like steel or bronze. Although the keys in the marimba are made out of wood, mostly African paduk. In a xylophone, a sound is made by striking the key. Then, the key will vibrate, pushing the air around it, producing sound waves. Although, the sound made by the keys are not able to project to an audience loudly. Therefore, resonators are used to amplify the sound in the xylophone, so an audience can hear the music loudly and clearly. An example of a resonator in the xylophone is the PVC pipes under the xylophone. Each PVC pipe is cut specifically to the key it's under, so the sound wave that comes from the key can travel through the PVC pipe and form a standing wave. When a standing wave is produced, that is when the loudest sound is made. Plus, the air inside the pipe is condensed, and outside the pipe, it is not condensed. Therefore, when the standing wave exits the pipe, the longitude sound wave expands and becomes amplified. This is why this instrument uses resonators and you can hear the sound loudly and clearly. Tuning a key on a tuning fork has to be done very carefully because it can only be done once. A key is made extra big then carved till the right pitch is made. The key is struck and an instrument detects the frequency of the key, which then states where the key should be on the xylophone. The same process is used for the keys on the marimba. There are wooden mallets, plastic mallets, string mallets, and rubber mallets. The rubber and the string mallets are used to make a softer sound, and the plastic and the wooden mallets are used to make a louder sound. As you can see, the longer the key, the lower the frequency and the lower the note. But the shorter the key, the higher the frequency and the higher the note. Here you can hear the difference between both instruments. You can identify that when striking an alloy metal it makes a different sound than striking wood. This is because an alloy has a louder sound because an alloy vibrates more because it's a conductor and wood is an insulator. Therefore the vibrations aren't able to vibrate as much as alloy metals. Therefore wood wouldn't be able to produce as loud a sound as alloy metals. Therefore more resonance is made in the vibraphone. What are some factors that affect the frequency of the keys? Density is one factor. The denser the key, the lower the frequency, and vice versa. Thickness is also another factor. The thinner the bar, the lower the frequency. Elasticity is also another factor, because the less stiff bar has a lower frequency. Although the length of the bar is the main factor used in the xylophone, where the longer the bar, the longer the frequency. The shorter the bar, the shorter the frequency. In making any kind of xylophone, how a key is placed is a huge factor in the sound making process. Where the key can't be held from either side because it won't vibrate freely. Therefore, the key has to be held at the nodal points of the vibrations so the key can vibrate freely. Thanks to the physicist 
Lord Rally. If I have the frequency and the length of one key, I can find out what the length should be to get another frequency for another key. What's unique about the xylophone is that it uses PVC pipes to amplify its sound. Although the piano does not use PVC pipes to amplify the sound because it does not need anything to amplify the sound. The vibrations made by the strings in the piano are loud enough to amplify to an audience. Comparison between both sounds, the xylophone would have a better sound because of the PVC pipes. They amplify the sound and make the sound more whole. Although the piano does not have PVC pipes or anything to amplify the sound and make the sound more whole. Also, the xylophone is similar to a piano, although the piano has strings and the xylophone has keys. Using a xylophone, you are able to hit the key directly, although in the piano, you hit a key that uses a wooden hammer that hits a string. Although the notes on the keys of the piano are almost exactly the same as a xylophone. That was the weirdest thing! I have a dream about physics! It's like having a Mr. Root class in my dream! Whoa, that was so sick! So wait, there's a xylophone, that's a general term for a vibraphone, and a marimba. And they're made by either aluminum, and then, what? Wow! And it's also made, the frequencies are different from the lengths, not the densities, not the elasticity, or the thickness. So the longer the piece of wood is, the more the higher is the one you're saying. I guess I'll complete the class in my dreams. <laughs>